In Shalat today we're going to focus on the three letters of Da da and Da, which come from the Zarf Alissa, which means this part here, Zarf Alissa. So the Da, Da and Da are going to come from the upper jaw area. So in the last video we were focusing on the lower jaw area, but this video we were focusing more on the upper jaw. The da and the da, you will touch the tip of the tongue, okay, behind the top central incisors, so the meeting point of the teeth and the gum line. Da, 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 da. So round about here, inshallah. For the ta, you're going to touch the greater portion of your tongue, so you're going to move above this arrow and you're going to be touching this area here with the hard palate. So you shouldn't be touching the meeting point of the teeth and the gum line, so it should be around here. Do, do, po. And then if you move it against the teeth and against this gum line, and say da, di, do, and then move it, and that's the tip of the tongue, and then you touch, get this part of the tongue and say do, di, do, you'll see the difference between the pronunciation. So a lot of people pronounce the ta and the da exactly the same. So they say ta to the, so they say da, and they say this is the da is one, which is incorrect. Because you're pronouncing them exactly the same. If we look at how to make the ta heavy, again, like any other letters, we raise the back of the tongue. If you see here, we are touching the tip and just um, a bit more of, a bit, a bit of more of the tongue for the dal and the da, but for the ta we are touching a greater portion of the tongue for the letter ta. If you take a very close look on it, you can see it's not the actual tip, but just before the tip and that letter, that, that letter is emanated from touching a more greater portion of the tongue with the maharaj, so behind that hard palate, so that's what you're touching you're not going to be touching the actual uh, back part of the tooth. Your tongue should be risen for the thaw and its heaviness. So again, it's the khim. A greater portion of the tongue is touching the roof of your mouth to say thaw. And there is another way to make your letters heavy. is by rounding your lips. Okay, so even in the thaw, you round your lips like this. In your raw, you round your lips like this. In your thaw, you round your lips like this. Any soft letters like the ya, the da, the baz, and the memes and the nuns, you say uh, you keep your lips stretched across so they are placed in a horizontal fashion and say da, di, do, and then do, di, do, and I'm rounding my lips. And again, I'm following all those points that I've just mentioned about the Maharaj of do. I hope you've inshallah found this video beneficial. Alhamdulillah.